In this video, we're going to set up Apache as a reverse proxy to hit our Proxmox server. It took me a long time to figure out all the configurations that were necessary in order to use Apache as this reverse proxy for Proxmox. And most of the things that I found when I was Googling did not work appropriately. By the time we're done, you should be comfortable and able to set up your reverse proxy in Apache to hit Proxmox. I'll have links in the video description so that you can copy and paste the code from GitHub easily. The benefits of doing this is that your SSL certs are going to renew automatically. You will no longer see unsafe website warnings. Your browser is going to offer to remember your passwords. You'll be able to access Proxmox from a friendly URL, so you won't have to remember your server IP address or what port it's running on. Before diving into the setup of Apache for the reverse proxy, there's a couple things you're going to need to have. You definitely need to have an Apache server set up and serving content. You need to have a registered domain name and the ability to edit DNS entries. You should already have Let's Encrypt SSL certs up and running or some similar type of service. I would strongly suggest getting a star cert so that you can get one cert and use it across all of your home lab services without needing to add additional domains onto the cert every time you want to add a service and a video for this will come later on. You should be comfortable using Linux command line. And since this video is all about setting up a reverse proxy specifically to hit Proxmox, you'll also need to be running Proxmox. Currently I'm running Proxmox 7.2, so if you're running a different version, I can't guarantee that this will be compatible, but it should be really close. So let's get into setting up Proxmox as a new virtual host in Apache so that you can reverse proxy to your Proxmox. This is the specific configuration of a virtual host to effectively route traffic over to Proxmox and ensuring that it's accessible only from your home network for enhanced security. All right, so let's get started with this. So we're going to change directory, Etsy, Apache 2, sites available. For Apache 2, this is where it lists all of the sites that you're running and for simplicity, you typically want to create a new configuration file for each of your virtual hosts. So we're going to do that now. sudo nano example.conf. And with that, we're going to paste in an example configuration file and this is one that I already have set up. And basically this just says that for traffic coming in on port 80, that's trying to go to r930.jonathanhodak.com, rewrite it from HTTP into HTTPS and just keep whatever else is at the end. So effectively it redirects all traffic from HTTP to HTTPS automatically. Exit out of that, save it. So control X, control X will exit out and then just tell it that yes, you wanna save the file and keep the same file name. And then we're also going to create example-le-ssl.conf. This is what lets encrypt. When you use that, it typically adds a dash le dash SSL. Um, as a new configuration file, and this is where you will keep all of your configurations for port 443. And let me go ahead and grab a copy of the correct configuration file. And don't worry about all the text, I'll have this all in the video description, as well as a link to it on GitHub. So after a lot of painstaking testing, this is how to correctly get Apache to reverse proxy over to Proxmox. I'm not gonna sit here and go through what every single line does. Some of the notable things, your server name will need to be the same as the one that you just set up on port 80. Uh, your custom log 
if you want to be able to view logs and only see stuff that's hitting this this specific virtual host, set up your custom log to be whatever you want. All of these settings, I'm not 100% sure if all of them are actually necessary, but it doesn't seem to work very well if I fiddle much with any of these. This location setting, this basically tells it to only allow traffic from IPs that are coming from 192.168.0. Anything. This is what my home network is running on. This is what my computers connect to. And this basically means that nobody from the outside internet can hit it. And even other home networks on 192.168.1 or 192.168.2 also will not be allowed. This rewrite engine and proxy pass. The rewrite engine is basically serving out all of the web sockets. And then the proxy pass is a catch all and says anything that's going to, to this IP, which is where Proxmox is. And notice the port 8006. Uh, 8006 is the normal Proxmox port. And so this allows it so that you are sending traffic without a port and it is automatically passing it over with a port. So this makes it so that you will no longer have to remember your port number. And then there's some SSL uh, stuff from Let's Encrypt. And so let's test it out and see if that works. Once you're done with these files, you'll exit out, save the buffer, yep. And then what I'm going to do is you would need to sudo a2 insight example, example.conf and example le ssl.conf. And when you do this, uh, Apache is going to enable both of these sites. And you need both of them enabled. So I am actually going to disable them because I already have configuration files for these. So I'm going to go ahead and disable. And then what you're going to need to do is sudo service Apache 2 reload. This reloads all of your Apache 2 services. One last thing that you're going to need to do, sudo a2 and mod. And for your modules, these are the things that Apache uses to, to run certain services. You are going to need to enable proxy SSL, rewrite, proxy HTTP, proxy with tunnel, and headers. You may not need headers because I don't think we used it in this. But when you sudo a2 and mod those, Apache will attempt to turn all those modules on and typically it will turn on submodules if those are also needed. You'll, you'll notice set environment if was already enabled but is part of SSL as well. So with that, our site should be up and running. Just to be on the safe side, we're gonna go ahead and pseudo service Apache 2 reload again. Then we're gonna get out of there. We're going to open up our browser, grab a new browser tab. And for me, my site is running on r930.jonathanhodak.com. And if you did everything correctly, you should automatically come into Proxmox. And if you'll notice when you log out or when you get there initially, you should have a username and password. And again, your browser will now offer to remember these passwords and these usernames. And so you can log in, it logs right in. Some of the, some of the things that I noticed that in different Google things that I found on the internet, some of them kind of sort of worked, but many of them had a lot of problems like when you hit the shell button, 
You'll see I connected right up and I had no problems. And we'll go out of that and let's go into this Apache server here. And if I hit the console button, the console connects right up and I can put in my username and my password and it connects and I have no problems at all. And that should wrap everything up. So now Apache should be all set up, reverse proxying over to Proxmox with SSL certs. I hope you found this video helpful and valuable, and especially if you're just starting out with Home Labs or already have an Apache server serving web content. If you got value out of this video, please like, comment, and subscribe as this will massively help me out. If there's similar content you'd like for me to cover, please let me know down in the comments. I have a long list of Home Lab videos on my to-do list going over setup and optimization of Apache and a bunch of other different services. And I can't wait to share them with you, so I'm excited to have you along for the ride. So again, thank you everyone for tuning in and spending your valuable time with me. I genuinely hope somebody out there found this valuable and it helped them to get their SSL certs onto Proxmox correctly. Bye!